Hey guys, I'm Krigo and this is Warhammer Inquisitor Martyr. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We just logged in and we got these uh, beautiful items apparently. Very welcome though. Anything that is uh, given is always welcome. But look at that, that is way more powerful. But it's a sentinel gear and we do not enjoy sentinel gear over here. No, no, no. Level 25 is needed for this one. So yes, we are going to keep that. This one is that, and this one, nah, we don't want that. No, no. All right, now let's see, though. We have to go on a certain mission, right? So let's go back to the action. Uh, yes, this one we do need to do, but I think these two we are going to do first, right? Silence the guns. After all, we have to start in outer space a little bit closer. Boom, on the planet itself. Prove the blood sacrifice of the tainted psychers. A chaos warband has translated uh, from the immaterium right to the surface of the planet and is now assaulting an inquisitorial holding facility. Relentless artillery bombardment has burned or killed teams from counter assaulting and extracting valuable assets. Destroy all battle engines. Well, let's do it though, right? I mean, wow. It's good that we are starting here, to be honest, isn't it, right? Because, you know, we don't want to be bombarded from space. But we are just taking a stroll, killing Xenos here and there, right, you know? Your sensorium feed is up and running. Target coordinates decanted. Excuse my high gothic, but someone must be really desperate. High or gothic? Mad to send an inquisitor <laughs> to take out field artillery units. Take care down there. We'll do so, we'll do so. But high gothic, huh? A Germanic tribe uh, that was living in eastern Poland and western Ukraine all the way to where uh, Berlin is now today. Not for long though they stayed there because of the other Germanic tribes. But there were two Gothic tribes by the way. I'm just saying right. Two Germanic ones that had the Gothic name in it. No actually three. The physical, the Austral At this rate, you'll be back on board in no time. And another golf group that are, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I keep forgetting though. It was a very small one in comparison. All right, beautiful. Let's keep on going, boys. Oh yeah. Take it easy. Take a shotgun blast to the face. Yeah. Do you hear that? That bam 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 bam. That assault? It is so bad though, right? For team members on, on the planet itself. Because each shot, man, you know, is taking out vessels in space. But also precise well, shots on the planet about. itself. Keep going. Sacred murder? Sacred murder? Damn, dude. Okay, interesting tower. Alright, bye 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 bye. I just love this man. This game is so hellish fun. <clears throat> I need to get me some uh, Diablo 2 and uh, 4 2. I don't think Blizzard sells Diablo 1, right? I have such fond memories of that game as a kid. I remember how creepy I thought the game was, right? You know, back in the days. Especially with the skeletons here and there, you know? Uh, once you were rising and everything. It, it, it's something different, right, you know? Back then, the most hardcore pixel games, he had a scary vibe to it. Now, the games are very realistic, and I'm just like, meh. You know? Oh, no. Oh, that does the trick, too, huh? All right, let's get, get rid of this one. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Booyah! Hmm. No more primary targets on my Argus scans. Well done. Stand by for extraction. Unless you want to linger just a little longer. Now nah, we killed them all already, right, you know. There's some very weird Germanic tribe names, by the way. Like the Alemanni, the Macromani. <laughs> you know, there's some other weird ones too. It's, it's, it just fascinates me, right, you know? It's like the, the Scipii, the Julii, the Pompeii, you know? It's like uh, the Roman ones, but a little bit less royal sounding in certain cases, one might say. And the other ones, they are more like the Macromani, you know? 
You think cannibalized RCO of our RCO tech stolen from the excavator site? A mutant code has lured Chaos Marines and a cohort of demons fought from the uh, Immaterium. The warp gates were wiped out by orbital strikes, but the warp end is still on the loose. Orders enter the hideout and banish the servants of Chaos. Hell yes. This is a very interesting uh, background though, I like it. By the way, this guy we have seen before, wasn't he just a mini boss that we did destroy? He did not get away now, did he? I don't think so. No. Or unless he is a lesser version of someone else. Pseudo kinetic tracking is on, and it is being transmitted to your tactical sensorium. Eliminate negative variables for preferred outcome. But he seems to be rather special, you know? Don't you guys think? I think your boys do think so too, right? You know? Appa, bye bye. After all, why would it be a massive war? Ah, that's why. Because he's an important character in the lore. Because he was the final boss in the Martyr Vessel at the first encounter, right? Oh, by the way, I did also check out this game uh, with a different class. Just for the lols, right? And I do like it. So if you don't like the Crusader for, oh, kill them all, you know? And a little bit in the dumb way of saying it from me. But if you do like to be a little bit more technical or whatsoever, or a little bit more like an assassin or anything like that sort, right? Play one of those classes. You will be thrilled with it. It's, it just shows the game in a whole different perspective. And I really do like it, right? You know, like uh, uh, the tech priest, for example. It communicates with the Marty. The Marty communicates back a little bit, you know. It, it's a really, really fun, man. It, it's it, it's good. So yeah, I highly recommend that stuff. Mission status updated. I highly recommend it. Hey, what? I highly recommend it though, um, I did not see it from the lady side, you know, from the sniper or assassin or stuff like that, but I'm sure it is the same type of vibe, you know? Okay, bum bum bum. Oh, by the way, the tech priest is like one of my favorite classes though, right, you know? Uh, why you might wonder, it's very simple. In in a lot of MMORPGs, what I did play, right, you know, there was some type of turret type of gameplay. You know, my absolute favorite MMORPG was actually Warhammer. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> One second. Yeah. All right. Uh, Warhammer, you know, had a beautiful MMORPG uh, RPG in the old world. And it's really, really good. It was really good. Uh, I'm not sure why it did feel, though. Uh, there was a lot of abuse though with AOE. I do know that in uh, in PvP. But there was also a lack of how shall I say marketing. I remember back in the golden olden days of World of Warcraft, there was a lot of TV commercials, right? And that did help with the success of um, World of Warcraft. Also, Warcraft 3 was immensely popular, right? You know, let's not forget about that. But. Um, the class, I, I, I had two classes that I was absolutely in love with. One was um, the, the Dwarf Engineer. It was so much fun. Complete. Operation is a success. Inloading data construct. To have a little flamethrower turret or, you know, a little machine gun turret, stuff like that. Um, but my absolute, absolute favorite, though, was the um, tem uh, Templar Priest, right, you know? The priest, man. I, I I did love it. You know, buffing and taking care of the group, but also hammering time, you know. It was a lot of fun. Alright, uh, let's go here. I had the third favorite, but I barely did play it. And that was the Lion God, you know, the elf with the little pet. And then I was like, hmm, let's try out a big boy orc, right? Lots of fun too. Lots of fun, I can tell, right? You know, really. And then also the little uh, pipsqueak goblin with its little pet was also fun. But the first and the second one, they will stay no matter what. The third, I'm more like, eh, you know? All right, here we go. The lair of the beast. I have located the place where the feral beasts keep the tech priest in, capt 
activity. I cannot risk the safety of this important asset. Therefore, I must mount a swift rescue operation before these rebels take him away or try to kill them. Ah, uh, him. Only one there. God thanks, right? You know, hail the emperor, man. Hail the emperor. Yep. Let's go, boys. Back to the grinder. The mixer, actually, right? You know? Well, the meat processing grinder, actually. Ha ha ha. Too late, big boy. Too late. It's kind of interesting, these guys, right? Rebel Gertzman. I do like they are wearing white, though, as if they are innocent. But no traitor is ever innocent. No matter their excuse. No, uh, 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 stop pointing your laser at me, boy. Very good. Bye bye, Enforcer. Didn't do much there against me, huh? Alright, reload right over here. We go. There's a nice little text grass shrine. Woohoo! Yeah! No dots are here. What a shame. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey. There you go. Aw. Poor guy, right? You know, he's trying uh, there with his medieval maze. Actually, ancient Japanese did fight with this type of thing. It's just a massive club with some spikes on the sides, right? You know, well, or like duds or anything. Yeah, just like this one. Interesting. The Yamabushi. Or the Yama Oni, actually, right? You know, the mountain uh, demons. Bye bye. War clubs and stuff like that, right, you know, are very good against armor. You know, you cannot cut through armor with a sword or anything, right, you know? So, you just have to crush it. Blunt force trauma. What do we have here, actually? Reek of the heretic fort. Increases chance to get crafted materials through the loot system. Well, if that isn't a nice little benefit, huh? I'm sure later on we have to, you know, craft quite a bit. We just did reach, you know, level or max level with the, with the division game. Beautiful, man. Now we can grind for legendaries. Oh, that guy I'm playing. I have found him, Captain, but it's too late. Tech Priest seems beyond repair. Switching language module. From Kant Mechanicus to Gothic. Apologies, Inquisitor. Proceed. Thank the Emperor. I've come for you. I'll explain everything later. Now, let's get out of here. Very cool, though. But nah, not yet. Not yet, big boy. Let's go to Tech Priest to the extraction point. Well, we might just do that. I wonder, by the way, if Gothic is still considered a Germanic language because they also were heavily influenced uh, by the Latins, right? By by Rome later on. So yeah, you know, like like it might be a mix in the later ends. What do you guys think? Opa. Okay, nobody's Reloading. playing with that. Nice, 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 nice. Miss me, dear big boy. I wish the shotgun had a much bigger magazine, though. I mean, that will be so nice for us. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> loading, loading, loading. Let's get rid of that over there. And this one. Alright. Alright, dear. Alright. The police is doing fine, I hope. 
And there's nothing of this beautiful vessel left in the end. And here we are. Montag, please. He's just enjoying the stroll, huh? As if he doesn't want to be uh, put to safety. There we are, boys. Mission accomplished. That's what I mean, you know, like, like everything in, in the game is Latin too, right? Imperatum, right? So see what I mean? See what I mean before? So yeah, do let me know. Let me know your opinion, even if you don't know if it's correct or anything like that. Just let me know. Heat attacks, huh? Heat damage bonus, damage overheating, overheating bar is 50%. Okay, that's very nice if you want to go for a flamethrower build. That's very cool, though. Damn it's over time. I love it. But... Korea FX. There we go. Debuff. Defense. That is where we were. Yes. Let's be a little bit more tanky here, shall we? No. Tech please. Tech please. Tech please. Where is the big fellow, huh? You make me courteous. Don't see it, but we do know that we have to talk here. Captain, I was our new guest. I'd like to talk to him immediately. The tech priest is being treated for injuries, although he doesn't seem to be concerned about the organic damage, as he puts it. What of the remaining deserters? Their leader, Colonel Anderson, has slipped away with a small force. I must commend Lord Klosterheim for recruiting highly effective assets. This Anderson is indeed a resilient and cunning man. Indeed, indeed, indeed so. Well, we want to uh, travel with the lady first, but we can finally equip this one. 41 plus quality, right? That's enormous. Okay, we already get these big boys. That's for nice, though. I mean, you know, that's, uh, we can put that actually in one of our armor slots if they had anything. So that's very nice. We do need to find out uh, how we do keep them, you know? Like where we can s uh, slot them, hot key them, something like that, right? So that we don't sell it. Well, 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 apparently we do not have anything of that stuff, right? So I have to sell everything manually, sadly. So, yeah, that's, that's tough, man. That's tough for the soul. Very tough because now we just have to do it in this way. Just a whole lot more work. What do we, oh, wait a minute, what is this though, right? Okay, that is that, yeah. Um, what we also could do is just drag it over here. And then go to the chest, right? You know, and then store it there for now. Alright, there we go. Let's move, let's move, let's move to our next objective. Now, what are we actually going to do? Ah, campaign mission right over here. The survivors of the local feral bees gang active in a system fled to a remote ar uh, ar what? arctic hideout led by Colonel Anderson, where they are waiting for a void ship to rescue them. I cannot let them escape justice. I must eliminate the traitors and their leader. I told them. My drinking glass says, right, you know, let none survive. Or in the name of the emperor, let none survive. You cannot let them get away with it, right, you know? I mean, for the crimes that you have done against the Emperor and the Imperium. Oh, yeah. The violent attack priest and all. Nah, we cannot handle oh, We cannot have this. Because if the world gets around, you know, it will only invite more chaos. Kind of strange that there are pockets of two right now. Hmm, very strange, I have to say. Alright. Things are going nice and smooth. There's one of the big boys. Uh, actually, there was one. Bye-bye. Simple, simple. Turn around. Nice. One more is alive there, though, huh? I'm sure he fought like, ah, maybe I can get it. Oh, we have to eliminate them all, huh? Oh, yeah. Finally, there are some numbers here. Oh, where? I mean, you know, we want to kill them as soon as possible, right? You know, we don't want to hunt only for once. 
and twos. Nah, who cares about duos, right? Well, I do. But this is more fun. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Down you go. Oh, yeah, boy. That's what I mean right there. Man, that's what our build is all about, right, you know? Just taking names of entire groups. Nice. Okay, we got a boss here. Bye bye. Beautiful. Ba -ba. Loading. Loading. Oh no. The biggest nemesis. All right, over here we gotta be a little bit more careful, as you can see. Yep, that uh, vortex. Uh, tower is really enjoying my booty as a target right and we cannot uh, accept that oh no gotta keep moving after all you know the pressure is high especially if we want to stay in range too right and the more is being shot at us from all sides it's just dangerous in the end we are almost complete though right you know on this uh, forsaken planet do you really enjoy the arctic over here oh yeah Oh, there must be one person alive still, though. Only one. Oh, that little group there. Oh, and downstairs? Oh, we were there. Oh, let's get going, boys. Let's get going. Here they are, hiding out from us. Oh, boy. Are these little ones? Yeah, okay. They are a little bit easy to overlook, though. And oh, oh, oh. oh we don't use T over here. No, no, no. It's actually good to, to learn your class a little bit better, right? You know what your max range is and everything. By the way, I really do think, like, the grenade launcher is right now better suited than the shotgun for us. Why? It's because all of it is AoE, right? Isn't it? It all is. So that's a very good thing. Uh, we are AoE focused, after all, you know? So I really do think so. And now we are becoming more and more tanky, right? You know, with each level up and uh, each little extra bonus that we are getting there. You have found the Ark. Interesting. Have we now? Now what is this over here? Adaptive efficiency. Plus 50% ammo capacity and overheating threshold values for all weapons. That is pretty nice because I was kind of complaining about the lack of beautiful, um, you know, amounts of shells that we can put in a shotgun. Oh, uh, what persistence? There you go. That's already so much, though, by the way, not that I come to think of it. I kind of want to go with the, you know, the grenades. But this one is rather good to have, by the way, isn't it? Hmm. Survival instinct overdrive. Oh, that's nice. Plus 15 uh, critical hit strength. But because of that, we will never have critical hits, right? This one might be what we are looking for. But... By that, I'm looking for your subscription, though, because it will really help out our channel, right, you know, in the long term. But by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.